Hello there. You think they're ready for the cold start on the Kia? Go give them, give them the cold start ready. Give them the cold start on the Kia. Cold start, we're in Florida. The Sportage. Oh yeah, I guess it's a lukewarm Floridian start. There you go. But, Main temperature uh, starting. Yeah, the Sportage. Let's hear. I'm a, I'm a lean into the exhaust. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Sure. Yeah, I'm leaning in. She purrs like a kitten. Yeah, like a vacuum. Yeah, like a vacuum. All right, let's do it. Do a clap for the uh, Kia montage. What's the plan? Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to, um, what's it called? Chef Mickey. That's yeah. like near Magic Kingdom. It's yes. one of like the uh, resort villa thingies. So we're going to the Disney's Contemporary Resort because internally we are all seven. Yep. And I want my Mickey waffles. You want your Mickey waffles. I want my Mickey like uh, mac and cheese, even though I just had some. I want. Yeah, he was Mickey. just eating Kraft KD. He was going to actually eat it in the intro, but then he finished it before yeah, we did the it's, intro. It's too good. So I don't know if Hunter will be having Mickey waffles. He will be joining us, but he's in there getting ready. This is Simon's um, weekend shirt. And if you are Oliver from Montreal, you bought this shirt and it did finally make it to Simon. It took from after hours until dawn to get it. No. Everybody, we're now at Chef Mickey's inside this like beautifully designed building. Yeah, we're inside the atrium of the Contemporary yeah, Resort. Like a trapezoid. It's pretty much the whole building design. So you have the monorail twin. Um, yeah, twin tracks track over station. there. It all goes up. There's hotel rooms on this side, this side. They face inside and outside. It's it's not. Or no, I think they all just face outside. But yeah, that, very, that sounds more like it. It's very very cool. It was actually I think it was Bright Sun Films had a very good video on the uh, Contemporary Resort. What is this? This is the Disney Fantasy. That is really, really cool. So, for those who don't know, this is a twin boat. prop. Look at it, it's got a water slide right at the top of it here. It goes along the deck, it goes all the way around. Mickey in the pool. Holy, this is cool. So, we just ate down there at that restaurant. That's where the monorails come through. Here's Hunter. Say hello. I'm out of energy. We're not really supposed to be up here, I think. I like that you tried to move the 15th floor. Yeah, I know. We were in the elevator and I was trying to push the button for the 15th floor and it just wasn't. There's a monorail. Oh, that's Yeah, so our table, they're cleaning it up right now, right there. Well, and that has been our excursion to the top of the Contemporary. We have no business being up here. These rooms that look over Bay Lake on this side and the Magic Kingdom on that side are- Probably worth more than all of our, in our income combined. Well, I'll do a quick Google when I get home. So, and I'll try and find some like New Year's pricing and I'll put them here, but it's probably a lot and probably outvalues the collection of my cars very quickly for what? A night here or a couple nights here. Oh no, it's, it's not here. At, yeah. the, at the Contemporary? Oh yeah. I would say like at least Take Pushing a guess. 200, 300 a night? Yeah. I would say upwards of $500 a night or $600 a night. And that was the top of the contemporary. I saw the view of the park side looking over all the attractions and stuff. It was really cool.
those trains. I tried to get it. What? People were back here at the Magic Kingdom station. Uh, sun's going down over here. It's beautiful out here. He's panicking. So we're gonna try and get as much done. It's about quarter to six right now. Park closes at 11. So we got, how many hours is that? Four, five. F five hours to just go, go, go on as many rides as we can. And I wanna do Space Mountain and Pirates of the Caribbean. And we're doing Pirates first. What do you wanna so do? I wanna do Pirates yep. and Space Mountain. That's it? No Big Thunder? Well, those are like my two big ones I wanna hit. Well, big Thunder got re Oh, and Thunder. Big Thunder and Splash Mountain. I love that ride. That ride's so good. It, feel, it felt different though. It felt smaller because we're bigger. It did feel a little smaller. The, the boat felt smaller for sure. Yeah, the, well, that's because we're a lot older than the last time we were here. I don't know what we're doing next, but no probably intended. another water ride. Yeah, I say we get Splash done maybe. Yeah. Well, let's walk over there. We'll see how bad the line is, then we'll figure it out from there. So next time you'll see us, we'll be at Splash's queue maybe. Yeah, we have this, uh, like 10 been, years ago, we lost Simon here, so this- No, no, I'll tell you guys when. It would've been great if we passed by this building. Yeah, but this spot 10 years ago, Simon. But yeah, we've been this spot. And um, there's a thunderstorm, and Simon was a little nervous, and he ducked into oh, something. Oh, little nervous. Little nervous, and we lost him for like an hour and 45 minutes in a thunderstorm, it was, no, it was great. Longer than that. It was like two. An hour and 40, that is two. So it would have been, where's the candy store? I would have like, the sheet line would have happened, I would have just booked it right. Pico's build, right here. No, no, no. no I didn't go in there. Huh? That's where he went. She's exactly out of the member. Okay, hey guys, we're uh, in the queue for Splash Mountain, which is I think one of our favorite rides ever. The three mountain series, you got Splash, you got Big Thunder. We're in live Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain's getting torn down and rethemed in like three weeks ish time it's yeah it's january 1st right now and on the 23rd it's getting torn so down. we're lucky enough to hit it one last time before she gets received <laughs> Rain, get here and feel this. Ooh, that is nice, isn't it? What do you think? Good to see it, man. Yeah, I know. It's disappointing. It's sad they're getting rid of this thing. Just my hair got wet. Yeah, I know, I got wet too. Oh my god, that was awesome. My guy, what do you think? This is fun as always. Yeah, I know. You got some water on the lens there, right? Yeah, just goodbye. a little bit of water on the lens. Goodbye. That's all right. You will be missed. Yes, yeah. goodbye Splash Mountain. Yeah, goodbye Splash Mountain. Oi!
Yo. Really? I'm getting soaked. Oh, he's just dead. Back there was recovering from uh, New Year's Eve. Yes, he was. So now that we've finished Splash Mountain, you'll hear there's a fireworks show going on. And there's, there's no one in line for Splash Mountain anymore. Yeah. So now we're gonna go do Big Thunder Mountain. There they are. So we're gonna go do um, Big Thunder. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And uh, I don't know how much you'll see, but I'll try and get you as much as I can. Okay, Simon, I just got us uh, Big Thunder Mountain. It might go dark, but tell me your thoughts. That's still like by far my favorite ride ever. Oh, I know. Time. That the theming of the whole like runaway railway, and it's, then like of it going down the one hill and it kind of deacon itself out and then making the turn finally. Yeah, the the train, the way it behaves on its track, almost feels like it's even though it's a preset track, it feels like it's trying to find its way yeah. as you're going, and then all of a sudden it just dives away from a rock or. Dives, like, jumps over a rock it is or like goes. A kids ride. It is like. It has some good really moments good too. Moments. Yeah, it has a lot. But like it's it it's it's, like it's a perfect. Co it's not a big kiddie coaster. It's not an adult coaster. It's anybody can it's, ride it. Yeah, right in the middle. Like I I'm a pretty yeah. seasoned roller coaster person. I've ridden like all the big ones you could imagine, except for like Top Fuel Dragster. Yeah. Rip. And I find that thrilling. And then like as an engineer and a nerd, the way that operates and how well it runs for being as old as it is. Yeah. It's it's like it opened Disney, yesterday. Like, Disney does theming and a mix of thrill really well. Yeah, and the mine coaster is an easy theme to do, but they do it better than just about oh, yeah. anybody. I don't know if they can see it, but they can see the whole like mountain that's done up back there. If not, I'll put a picture over. And we got unlucky, and we didn't get to go on it while the fireworks were still going on. Which that would yeah, that would have been cool. Track it and let it go once in a while. Oh yeah. So I think now we're heading to Haunted Mansion. We're going to do that. It's going to be so dark. If I film anything, obviously I'll put it in, but it's gonna be so dark that if it's nothing so, good, I just won't put it in. It is a fantastic ride though, so if you come, oh, definitely what, go Haunted on Mansion? it. Yeah, Haunted Mansion oh, is I one of my favorites. Like no. No, Haunted is a very good ride. It's a dark ride, so it's like a slow moving, like it's story based. So it's, yeah, yeah. it slowly moves you around these like animated halls. And stuff. It's very, very good. Or is it your imagination? Hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. And we're back. Simon, are you excited? Oh yeah. Hunter, are you excited? Oh, I think I just saw Tron. I saw, I saw a light zoom. No, there's lights, there's lights there, but it's, I don't think it's open yet. 
I Wait, swear, Hunter might be right. I swear I saw a, some sort of like a train go by. Yeah. Oh, like so, like it looked like the outline of one of the bikes zoomed by. Maybe they might be testing it. It's good to be back at Tomorrowland, oh, my guy. Tomorrowland is by far Tomorrowland like, is one of the best lands. The aesthetics here are just insane. It's so cool, and because they gave it like a retro future theme, it's almost timeless. It's stuck in the 80s. Like the 80s idea what the future is, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is testing. Light cycle's testing. Intergalactic travelers, welcome aboard the People Mover. This amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny People Mover. So that's Tron Light Cycle Run. It's not done yet. It's opening this spring. Oh, there it goes. Hell yeah. Let relaxation wash over you at the most refreshing retreat in the galaxy M31. Oh, there it goes. Please keep forward facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. on the ground. Yeah, last mountain to do tonight. Yeah, now we're gonna try and do Space Mountain, hopefully. If you're gonna write the mountain, how'd you put something? I know my order. Oh boy, uh, ooh, that's tough. Same first. Probably Space Mountain. Oh, okay. Or big, I, it's tough, they're all good. This is one of my favorites. Are you excited? I'm worried we'll get kicked out before. No, no, we're in line now. They can't, we're good. Yeah. So the time is like, I think it's 10 something right now. And the oh, park closes. Me, yeah, what's the actual guys time? Accurate. Let's get the accurate results here on the channel. It's 10 05, park closes at 11. This hour, this line is 60 minutes. So Hunter's worried we're gonna get thrown out. Uh, the, once you're in line, they'll let you ride. So then we have to get from the Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary where the car is, and then get the car and get back to. Um, Westgate, the resort, that's the one. And then this gift shop here, which used to be Gears, I think and I've heard that they're gonna tear this whole thing down and make a new gift shop so that there can be a wider path to get to Light Cycle Run. Well, yeah, that and then also incorporate Light Cycle Run's gift shop. Yeah, there. maybe. I don't know if they're actually gonna do that, but, but that'd be kind of cool. People, I don't know if you guys heard it. Imagine they used to only talk about the sportsway back there. Yeah. And now they talk about Light cycle run and yeah, the, like, the speed they, um, as two fast tracks. Yeah, it's really really cool. really like clever though. They said something yeah. like enjoy the ground and space. Yeah, two of the best tracks on uh, the ground and space. Or so it was a really clever line. That is so cool. The Starport logo, Starport 75. 75 comes from. Uh, I don't know if it was the year it opened, but it might have been. 75. I think it's 1975. That makes sense. It yeah. yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. Do your turtle face. Do the turtle face. gotten very 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 tired yeah. we're getting close we're getting so close you are tired i'm gonna let you guys know as soon as we get on that car we can talk the villa i'm just gone i'm passing out what in the roller coaster car or the rental car in the rental car oh the rental car yeah no, this will be awake this this is a look of a man who's excited for one more thing and then he's going to sleep i have decided though that i want these neon LED, whatever they are. I think these are neon because it arrived originally built in the 70s. They're black lights. Yeah, oh yeah, whatever they are. But I want I want these trips of light in my future garage. So track Omega is the right hand side. We're on track Alpha, which is the left hand side. 
that is a pretty awesome mistake. It was so tight corners and just like you and never I can't find my wallet. You can't find his wallet, but that's fine. What do you? I mean, there's nothing in it. What about my wallet? Yeah, I'm we know sure that. And then the only way I can see these like display things is through this queue. So there's like a Mars thing, and then up there would be the um, uh, people mover. People mover goes right above us right here. Okay, now we're gonna um, find our way back to mom then find a way out of this place and be done for the day. And I have found my wallet. All right, we are back on the midway now. Pretty well gonna be done for the night, so I'm gonna do an outro here just in case I don't we'll give do a one later. how like, empty the park is now. Yeah, we'll do, uh, yeah, okay, maybe we'll do that. We'll do an outro at the end of the end of the park. But from it being extremely busy earlier, to this now. This is very, very quiet now. And there's Hunter Scully, the majestic, beautiful thing. It's like maybe a little busier than how, like, uh, this is a little quieter than how it normally is in like when we came here in yeah. the summer. Our normal tactic when like we've come in the past with mom is we come the last week of, of August when we've come in the past with the whole fam. We've gone the last week of August because the Americans have gone back to school, so it's just us touristy people around here. I mean, today is the first day of the year. It's January 1st, so whenever this video gets uploaded, that's where we're at. And honestly, it wasn't even that bad though. No, honestly, we got we got a lot done. What did we get done? We got, we got Pirates of the Caribbean, Splash, Splash, Big Thunder, Haunted, and Space, Space Mountain. So and five of the, and the People Mover, yeah. So. A lot of really, really good rides. Well, yeah, Hunter, Hunter sadly couldn't make it on the People Mover. I got run over. Yes, he did get run over. So that's Tomorrowland. There's Simon. Can't really see him. There's Hunter. Yep. There's the castle. So it's the very end of the night and we're taking the train um, back to the Contemporary. And as we're leaving, the driver says, uh, if you look to your left, we're racing monorail blue, and then you just hear the uh, the motors or the engine of our monorail gear up, and we pass the blue one, and it because it was turning off on a service track to go to its station. So the two of us are side by side, but you just heard the electric or the electric motors just spin up and take off. Yeah, I got it on video. Oh, not on so not on this. I got it on my phone. But you know, on over the intercom, the guy just goes, if you look out to your left, we're racing blue. Go, 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 go. And then you just hear the motors, yeah, you just hear them gear up, and then uh, we pass it and then went off, and it's parked up there now, two of them are actually, you might be able to see. Yellow is right. Believe me, it's up there. But, um, yeah, they parked them in here, so I, they said 50-50, some of them go back to the monorail service shed, some of them go back, some of them just stay indoors. There, you can see. One's parked right over there, just to keep them out of the weather. But that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Simon, tell them to see him next time. I'll see you guys next time.